Welcome back to the LUFC kickoff, the number one Leeds United show on YouTube. If you are new to this channel, if you're a Leeds fan or just a football fanatic in general, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, and also press that post notification bell. So straight off the bat, we won 2-0 versus Wigan away. Obviously we had the advantage from early in the game because they got man sent off, and rightly so. The two-footed challenge, not even a challenge, the tackle, dirty foul. Yeah, what a bitch. So obviously the two yellows equated to the red card and they are 10 men. Bamford, Bamford, Bamford. B -b 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 Bamford is all I can say, all right? Because he's got two goals. It's going to give him confidence. I thought, I mean, he is sort of a confidence player. So this is going to do him very well for him. He's one of those players where he does need to get that ball very close to score. They were very too close sort of tapping goals. But regardless of that, I always say this, a goal is a goal. This is going to be good for his confidence. And even though I wanted Niketia to maybe come on and score a few like he probably would have, this is good for Bamford as well. So we know that if Niketi is playing, we need to take him off. If he's starting, we can always bring Bamford on knowing that he can score goals too. By the way, I don't know why it's look as red as some sort of lobster. Obviously, Bielsa, I was a bit disappointed he didn't put Niketi on. Added to the fact that he put Costa late, I would have liked him to have started. Or even Costa to play, you know, after the first, like, 30 minutes. But end of the day, we can yada yada yada, we can say this now, we can argue. But at the end of the day, it's Bielsa. Marcelo Bielsa, he knows what he's doing. We're going to win the league. I don't know how many times I've got to say this. The early goal in the first half, well, not an early goal, but in terms of it was in the first half. We needed that because, as we've seen from last season, having goals in the second half can be dodgy because we're panicky, we're all over the place, it's pressure. We need to get them early goals in the first half, which is what we did today. And that is one reason why we did win today. They pressured us, it was difficult, but we managed to handle it well. But one thing we need to stop doing is faffing about, all right? All right we need to stop faffing about... And we just stop like this BS and we just need to actually take our chances. Because although we did score two goals, we could have scored like five or six goals today. If we're in that six yard box, if we're in the box at all and we have a space, we need to take, we need to stop like turning, turning, passing, passing. Like even if it's a left back, just shoot, nothing, anything can happen. The keeper could parry it, it could deflect, go in, it can get a corner. We need to be taking our chances. Obviously Leeds are top of the table. It's what we want to see at the moment. But obviously the points, seven, we've got seven points drawing with quite a lot of teams. But obviously we need to maintain this throughout the season, which is kind of what we did last year, but we need to maintain this and know that we've got harder games coming up, i.e. Brentford, Stoke, Swansea. But we need to start getting them 3-0 plus even more wins so we can get that goal difference in. And I've got to say, we've got a team now that are capable of just scoring goals. Brentford next game, Janssen's going to be in the mix too. He's going to probably be at his best, I reckon. It's going to be a tough game, but all we can do is hope Bielsa plays the right players, brings on the right players, because we've got players on the bench that I would like to see. And obviously after Brentford on Saturday is Stoke away, which is another tough and big game. But end of the day, I say big game, we got to treat every game as a big game. We need to treat every game as a big game. That's what the top teams in the world do. That's what Man City do. That's what Barcelona do. Every game's got to be a priority to us. Obviously, yeah, cup games are like, okay, cool. Like we, we, We're going to try, but our main focus is getting our players the best they can bring on the best possible players in case we get injuries and stuff in these league matches. This has been a short and sweet one, but if you enjoyed this reaction and review of the game, please leave a like, subscribe down below, turn that post notification bell if you are a real Leeds fan. Like, are you a real fan? Or are you just a plastic fan like, like me that doesn't go to games? But saying that, I am going to Brentford, why is the light changing there? I am going to Brentford at home and I will be vlogging the experience for you. Comment down below what you thought of the game. If you was Bielsa, what would you do different? Comment down below. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Now your vids hold no way, light a tan channel sinking to the ground talking your piece on the web karma always come around eating up these w's can't you see i have the crown feasting on you enemies dead and buried in the ground digging your own hole in the soil of what i found your shit inconsistent i don't really fuck around put some respect on my name you playing with the hounds i've been waiting i've been saving all these bullets all these rounds and i wonder why this hate or this hate don't come around i'm the king to the front of this shit wearing the crown flooding all you haters you ain't shit now you left to drown